In this lecture, transfer function and body plot will be introduced for the first order low pass filter. We will find the magnitude and phase of the transfer function. Also, we will draw the body plot using engineering softwares such as MATLAB and Python. So far, we have been working on time domain analysis. Now, we will enter the AC analysis in frequency domain. AC means alternative current signals, such as sine or cosine at certain frequency and magnitude. When we talk about frequency domain in circuit analysis, some keywords are actually interchangeable in most cases, such as frequency domain analysis, small signal analysis, and AC analysis. Essentially, they are talking about the same thing. The so transfer function is the ratio of the output of a system to the input of the system. Given a linear time invariant system, LTI, we have input signal x of t as excitation. The output signal y of t as response. The transfer function g of s is defined as y of s over x of s. s is a Laplace variable which is defined as j times omega. Omega is angular frequency in radius per second, and j, or sometimes called i, actually is the imaginary unit. j squared equals to minus 1, and j is the square root of minus 1. The transfer function g of s has two important signatures, magnitude and phase. They will be discussed later in the following slides. The so magnitude we focus on attenuation and amplification. And phase, we will pay attention to leading or lagging. When the phase is leading, that means the output y of s is leading input x of s, and the transfer function g of s has positive phase. When it's lagging, that means the phase is negative. The transfer function gives you a chance to see the magnitude and frequency over the entire frequency range so you have a better idea about the system AC response in the frequency domain. So this is a oscilloscope screen capture from previous examples. We have input in yellow and output in blue. You can see we have uh, three different measurements. Channel 2 voltage peak to peak in blue channel 1 peak to peak in yellow, and the frequency of channel 1. When the frequency is 4 kHz, as the input into a low-pass filter, we can see the output actually is lagging input, so the phase will be negative. Also, the output magnitude is attenuated. Given the same voltage scale at channel 1 and channel 2 as 2 volt per division, you can see this is the response in time domain, but AC analysis will give you more insights into the system. Now let's continue to the basics of body plot. Here is the basics of the complex number. The complex number includes the imaginary unit I or J. For example, I use I in this lecture, but sometimes people use J. Uh, the complex number Z can be written as x plus y times i. z has two parts, the real part and the imaginary part. For illustration purpose, the complex number z can be expressed in a complex plane. The real axis is horizontal, and the imaginary axis is vertical. Complex number z is shown as an arrow in orange. The absolute value or the magnitude of z is defined as r, as the magnitude. And r equals to the square root of x squared plus y squared. The angle theta is defined as the angle made with the real axis. And the theta equals to tangent of y over x. Here, we are going to use the Ohm's law and the KVL to derive the transfer function of the first order low-pass filter. So here is the input voltage, and we have output 
voltage across the capacitor. You can imagine we use R and C as a voltage divider. So the voltage across C will be the impedance of C, which is 1 over SC, over the total impedance of R in series with C. So by algebra, we can find that the transfer function of V out over V in is 1 over 1 plus S times RC. If we manipulate it into the canonical form defined as here, we have the DC gain as G sub 0 and the omega 0 as the pole location. And the omega 0 is defined as 1 over RC in radius per second, which is the angular frequency. So finally, we have the transfer function of V out over V in defined as here. And the frequency in hertz is simply omega 0 over 2 pi. Now I will let you know how to derive the body plot. A body plot is a graph of the frequency response of a system. It's a combination of magnitude plot and phase plot. This is just a brief example, and I will show you how to get this graph using MATLAB or Python. Magnitude of transfer function. So magnitude of transfer function is a real number that the absolute value of this complex number, where we can call it the distance from origin to this point. So this is a little bit algebra here. We want to find the magnitude of g of s. So we put s equals to g omega, and j again is the imaginary unit, and omega is your angular frequency. So we sweep the angular frequency. You can imagine the phase and the magnitude is changing for the for this transfer function. By algebra, we can find that g of j omega equals to this equation. The so magnitude is simply square root of the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. Finally, it's found as 1 over square root of 1 plus f over f0 squared. f is the variable frequency in hertz, and f0 is defined before as the pole location. If we convert the magnitude into decibel dB, we can use this equation. 20 times log base 10 of the magnitude of g of j omega. So let me talk about the magnitude in decibel dB. The magnitude of a dimensionless quantity g can be expressed in decibels as follows. So this is the equation 20 times log base 10 of g. This table shows quite a few important examples to help you understand the decibel. For example, if g equals to 0 0.01, the log 10 of g is minus 2, and 20 times minus 2 dB equals to minus 40 dB. If g equals to 1, log base 10 of 1 is 0. As a result, 1 in decimal equals to 0 dB, and so on and so forth. For example, 1000 in decimal means 60 dB. We have studied the magnitude of g of s. Now we want to study the phase of the transfer function. So phase will be the angle made with real axis, like shown here. In this particular example, we will find the phase as minus actangent of omega over omega 0. The body plot drawn in MATLAB. In this particular example, r equals to 1 kilo ohm and c equals to 0 0.1 microfarad. If we use MATLAB, we can plot the body plot for this transfer function. The pole, or we call it corner frequency f sub 0, is 1.59 kilohertz. At 1.59 kilohertz, you can see the magnitude is around minus 3 dB, and the magnitude is reduced gradually at a certain slope, which is minus 20 dB per decade. And at corner frequency, the phase will be minus 45 degree. This is a closer look at the body plot. A body plot can be better understood by using the asymptotes. At 
Corner frequency f0, 1.59 kHz. The phase is at minus 45 degree. At this moment, if we look at the magnitude, it should be minus 3 dB. This is the break point of the magnitude. After minus 3 dB point, at f0, the magnitude is gradually reducing at a constant slope, which is minus 20 dB per decade. If we look at the phase, the asymptotes for the phase will be a line drawn here. So we can assume that the zero degree at f0 over 10. And at 10 times the f0, we can assume the phase becomes minus 90 degree, which is a very good approximation. And the DC gain is simply 0 dB because 0 dB is corresponding to magnitude of 1. That means at low frequency, well below F0, the voltage ratio between output and input is 1, which is 0 dB. So this is the source code for MATLAB. Please run it on your own if you have access to MATLAB. And also we can use Python. We use the same parameter as we use in MATLAB. And by using Python coding, we can draw the same body plot. So this is the magnitude plot, and this one is the phase plot. So this is the Python code using sine pi to draw the body plot. Just to recap, in this lecture, we briefly go over the transfer function, and we study the basics of a complex number. We study the body plot, including magnitude in decibel and phase. Finally, we draw the body plot of a low-pass filter using MATLAB and Python. As a practice, please run the sample code to draw a body plot by yourself. This is a reference for this lecture. Thank you very much. See you soon.